Do you know Harry Potter? No, I never uh, went to England. Ah, but did you see did you see the film Harry Potter? Hello, my name is Chris and welcome to Ewa English. In today's video, we are going to discuss films and TV series. I know, right? I'm excited too. Tell me, what is the name of your favorite film? Put it in the comments. Anyway, hit subscribe and let's get going. Today we're going to be talking about films and we're also going to be talking about TV series. So we're going to be just going through some vocabulary related to those topics. Film buff, film buff. Okay, so for example, I am such a film buff. I go to the cinema three times per week. I am such a film buff. I go to the cinema three times per week. It means that you love films, right? If you are a film buff, it means you love cinema or you love films. Okay, you're really interested in films. For example, um, are you a film buff? Is any, do we have any film buffs here? Any fanatics of a film? I should, I should mention really, in the US, they would say movies, right? Whereas in England or in the UK, we prefer to say film, the plot. All right. So what does it mean when we talk about the plot? For example, the plot of the movie was about a guy saving a girl. Okay, the plot of the movie was a guy saving a girl. What is a plot? What is the plot? The plot is the idea of the film. Okay, there is, there is another word you could use talking about films, a synonym of plot. You could say the narrative or the plot. The plot is more common, but you could also say narrative. Um, it's basically like the story, the story, the plot, the narrative. Those three options, really. Do you like films? Yeah, I like films. What's your but favorite? No, no. But not the, the word that you say, the film back. You, you're not a film buff? Yeah, no. No, uh, no, no, no. What, what, what is your favorite film? My favorite film is The Lies is Beautiful. The li ah, the Italian one? Yeah. Ah, yeah. it's good. Very sad, isn't it? About the war. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's How very sad. Dreadful, dreadful. Okay. What was my example? Ah, yes. Okay. The new James Bond film was dreadful. I was falling asleep while I was watching it. Awful, awful. Not very good, very bad. But here, very bad. Okay. So it is boring, but it could also be more general, right? Awful, dreadful, very bad. Tell me what is the worst film you have ever seen, right? What is the worst film you have ever seen? For me, the, James, the new James Bond film, right? The new James Bond film was dreadful. I was falling asleep. I thought the acting was bad. The special effects were pretty average. Gripping. Remember, don't worry about the G, all right? Listen to the, the pronunciation. Gripping, gripping. You don't have to say gripping. Well, you can, but it's not so strong. It's more natural to say gripping, gripping, okay? So my example was, okay, okay. Inception, right? Inception, who, oh, sorry, what did I have? Yeah, Inception, the film with Leonardo DiCaprio was so gripping. I was on the edge of my seat all throughout the film. I was on the edge of my seat throughout the film. Exciting, right? Gripping means exciting okay so the other one we had dreadful right boring terrible very bad this time we have gripping very exciting have you ever seen anything from england have you seen any tv series from the uk or yes yeah i'm watching i yes i watched uh, endeavor and uh, yeah i oh. love them i yes. haven't i haven't seen oh. them what, what are they about 
uh, it's uh, like uh, the previous years of uh, Inspector Morse. Oh. I don't. It's it's that they are very popular. In uh, the the actor is Sean Evans. Have you seen anything that was yeah. dreadful recently? Dreadful, not very good. Yes, especially uh, the last uh, Netflix films. I think that they are too uh, commercial. I don't know if the the word is yeah, right. Yeah, commercial, like main, uh, mainstream. Yes. Yes, they, they they made films uh, too easy, uh, too fast, I guess. Too fast. Well, maybe sometimes, um, yeah. Week. To binge watch. To binge watch. Okay. So, what was my word? Oh, yeah. I binge watched the entire uh, season of The Office in one night. When, when you binge watch something, you watch a season back to back like the episodes right one episode the first episode the second episode the third episode etc etc right so for example i think my record is maybe like eight episodes so eight hours in one night so i told you to binge watch right to binge watch but you can also say to binge on okay so that, that means basically the same thing, but you would just change the grammar a little bit rather than saying to binge watch, you say to binge on. So I like to binge on um, gripping series. Okay, I like to binge watch or to binge on gripping series. The Walking Dead, right? Uh, yeah, I think Twilight, Prison, Prison Break's a classic one that people binge on. All right, I, I think I binged on Prison Break because it's like one hour, so it feels like you have to watch the next one. Game of Thrones, that's a good one. Breaking Bad, oh, who doesn't love Breaking Bad? That's a, that's a great series. Many people are talking about Witcher right now. Tear Jerker. Tear Jerker. So let's go back to that, that series I mentioned before, okay? Uh, Afterlife is such a tear jerker. I would make sure you have lots of tissues if you are going to watch it. So a tearjerker is something that makes you cry. Okay. Has anyone watched any tearjerkers recently? I would, you know, as I mentioned, Afterlife was very sad. There was one about a guy from India who, it was based on a true story, based on a true story. Uh, lion, Lion, oh, Lion is a tearjerker. I was crying so much. Do you binge watch many TV series as well? Yes, yes. Um, there is a series that I like. The name is Emily in Paris, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like that one too. It's, good. <laughs> it's a good one. Why, yeah, why, do, yeah. why do you like it? Sorry? Why do you like it? Um, Cause um, there is some parts talking about business i like it um and paris I, I i love paris too what what are your opinions about tear jerkers do you like a good tear jerker sometimes a sad film or not really um i'm glad in the in the moment because i feel emotions so like profound that i am not used to get that twice like I'm crying a lot one night and that is enough for me. <laughs> okay. I saw, I don't know if you saw that, you watched that, sorry. Um, Sherlock, I don't know if you saw if Sherlock? You watched that series of, from BBC. Yeah, it's amazing. Sherlock's great. Yeah. It's really With good. Cumberbatch. I love yeah. I, I love the um, assistant. Um, I can't remember his name now. Um, in The Hobbit oh. as well. Um, oh. Watson. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember the actor's name, but he's a great actor. I love him. He's really cool. Um, he acts in uh, The Hobbit in the, in the movie. So yeah. That too. Leave a comment with your favorite film and as well as um, give me some example or some example sentences using the words, right? Dreadful, uh, gripping, film buff. All right. So make sure you practice your English and leave some comments. Participate, right? Be an active learner. It's been really fun to talk with everyone. I will see you next time, okay? Bye for now. All the best. Bye, guys.